Cartoon Savvy. In this video, I will be showing you how to clip a tip. We want to make sure our reed had been soaking in room temperature water, little warm water, three, five minutes. We just want to ensure that the reed is soaked thoroughly. Now, the tools that we'll need is a uh, tip clipper, or as everybody calls it, a clip tipper, going back and forth. It's very easy to say wrong. Um, alrighty, so I want to put my reed on my mandrel. And this shape of reed I have is a Hertzberg shape. Very popular, all my teachers have played on it, and I play on it. Now, your individual measurements will be different depending on your style of playing, the bassoon you're on, the shape you're on. There's many different shapes. So for this shape, the measurements I have for the uh, first wire, the first wire is an eighth of an inch from the top from the collar and the second wire will be four and a half sixteenths from the second from the first wire. Now, how we measure it is from the center of the wires. And what, what do I mean by center? The center of the wires are the line that's there in the center of the wires, right there. That is where I'm measuring from uh, in regards to the wires in relationship to the collar. Now, in the next videos, I do indicate that we have to get rid of the first wire. We replace the first wire after we clip the tip. Now, um, this is a this is a ruler. <laughs> um, it's a six inch ruler that has both inches and centimeters, it's 15 centimeters, and obviously every little tick is a millimeter. It's important to have this because you'll see in the videos, I use both imperial and metric measurements in making reads, uh, but it's good just to have both so you don't have two rulers. You get this on Amazon, very cheap, two bucks. Now, we've already placed these from forming the read, which I'll cover in later videos. But we want to just double check that they're all in the right place because the placement of the first wire will affect the width of the reed that you're using. For example, if this wire is lower than an eighth of an inch, then that means the measurement of where we cut will be further down the blade, which will then result in a narrower reed. If we have the first wire higher on the tube, this is called the tube, if we higher, have it higher on the tube of the reed, for instance there, then that means the result will be a longer, or even though it's the same length in relationship to the wire, it'll be a wider shape to play on, and thusly a flatter reed. But here I have an eighth of an inch from the first wire, from the, excuse me, the first wire is an eighth of an inch from the collar, and the second wire is four and a half sixteenths from the top wire, or the first wire. So we have first wire, second wire, and there's actually a wire. You can see a little knot there. Third wire, there's a wire underneath the wrap. So we just wanna double check these measurements. I know it's hard to see the finer detail but we count little two ticks here, eighth of an inch, good. And then one, two, three, four and a half. Okay, so these are both in the right placement. Let's double check. Actually, the second wire could be brought down ever so. Now you'll find with the Duco cement, when we talk about that, seals the reed and sometimes just comes up onto the wire and that's fine to cut a little bit out to give us 
a little more room to move down. That's why my threading, I also stop it just before the second wire in case I need a little wiggle room, which in this case, I'm happy I did because I need like a fraction of a millimeter. But as we as bassoonists know, accuracy, consistency are key. So I move it down ever slightly to ensure that we are accurate in our measurements of four and a half, sixteenths, beautiful. Okay, then the second wire we wanna make sure is nice and snug. Okay, we can see that it kind of wiggles a little bit, so we wanna eliminate that. And how we do that is, if you can see this way, I'll do it this way, we pull a little bit, okay, and then release, and then turn. And then we check again, nice and snug. And I fold up, folding up or down, doesn't matter, personal preference. Oh, and see, you know, when I did that and I see it when it starts to go a little more, I just fold it back down, give it another little twist. I'm going, you know, an eighth of a full, a sixteenth and eighth of a full rotation. You know, we don't want to strangle the reed, we just want to tighten the wire. Okay, that is good and snug. Now we mark, double check that this is an eighth of an inch. Very good. Eighth of an inch. And then we mark an inch and three sixteenths from the center of the first wire onto the blade. So let me do that. Pencil is not going to affect anything. Avoid using any kind of marker or pen. Obviously, that should be an obvious thing uh, on the blade. Okay. While holding it. There we go. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. Uh, and now this is a Rieger tip clipper uh, or you could use a razor if you if you're very good at keeping it straight I'm not good at that so I never do it that way but there's nothing wrong with doing it that way okay so I'm gonna measure carefully and one thing I do is that the very tip of the right because this bed of where the blade can go in is not too deep so I just take a little off you know so then I can really get precise with where it is. Okay. And there we go. One inch and three sixteenths exact. All right. Thank you. I hope that's been helpful. Leave any comments or questions if you have them. Happy reading.